So what happens when my debt is at zero or I am now debt free? Well, there, there's a couple of things that happen here. In the traditional sense, when you are debt free, let's just say with your house, you have no more house payment. You have no more mortgage. Yes, you do have a house that's paid off, but all of the value of the house is locked up in the bricks where what most people think is I have to do a cash out refinance or a home equity loan to be able to access some of that equity again. And now you're back on a fixed debt payment schedule. That's not what we want to do, okay? Because it's the access to money that lets us sleep well at night. And so, Pretty much what we can say standard around the United States is that we can access 80% loan to value of our primary residence. So if our house is worth $500,000, if we were to sell it today, that means that we can get a line of credit of $400,000 whether that is a home equity line of credit or there's some other special types of instruments, okay? Now, again, a line of credit is like a credit card. It's a credit card that is secured by real estate, meaning your house. So you got approved. The simplest way to think of this is you got the result, an awesome result. You got approved for a credit card with a line of credit size of $400,000. If you never use your credit card, are you can you potentially be charged any interest? The answer is no. So that's the same thing here. If you pay it down to zero, zero dollars, a zero dollar balance times whatever the interest rate is, it does not matter, anything times zero is zero. So, but you have the access to, in our example to $400,000 just in case you need it. And for most people, they're going to sleep really, really well knowing that there's an extra $400,000 there. But here is where we start to use it strategically. Because yes, I do lead people towards being debt free. Let's get all of those fixed debt payments out of the way. But remember step three of the process, deploy the extra dollars into assets. So you always have a choice of do I invest or do I save money? Here we are combining everything together to say when I save money, I'm also lowering the debt and lowering the interest. But when a strategic investment arises. So if you are what's known as an accredited investor, maybe there's a syndication that comes up. And let's just say that that minimum investment is $25,000. And you might say like, well, where does it cut? Where can I find 25 grand? Because normally what I do is I have to squirrel, all, squirrel this 25,000 up and oh, I just missed the opportunity. Well, here it's not ready, aim, fire, it's ready, deploy, and then reload. And if you want the result in terms of being able to deploy and then reload, type results in the comments below. But to finish this example, an investment opportunity comes up. They say minimum investment, $25,000. Where does the 25,000 come from? You pull it out of the line of credit to invest hopefully in something that is cash flowing so that if you are or if your cash flow right now is $5,000 a month and then let's say that this $25,000 investment can also produce $300 a month of course i'm just pulling these numbers out of the air now all of a sudden you have not 5,000 but $5,300 a month in cash flow going back to pay the 25,000 you just took out. And so what can you do for the next investment that comes up? 
you repeat the process. Take 25,000 out. You've got your 5,000, you've got your 300, and now all of a sudden you can get another 300. So now you're up to 5,600 a month. And what do you do? You redeploy or you repurpose it back into the line of credit. And so you just keep doing this again and again and again and again. And this is the result that I want people to get is to be able to use your active income and that money that is sitting as an opportunity fund to then leverage that to be able to find other cash flowing assets so that you start to skew more towards passive income versus relying just on your active income. But we have a tool that we can offset the debt. Now, I know the next question is, but I take this 25,000 out and there's interest on it. The answer is yes, there is. But remember how much interest and how much your payment we have saved compared to what you were doing before. The amount of interest that you have to pay to take 25,000 out, knowing you're gonna be paying this back in just a few months is meaningless compared to the access that you have of $400,000 in this example. So remember, look at the bigger result. This is how we get there faster. These are the results that I wanna see you have in your life so that you can get to your definition of freedom far sooner than you anticipated. See you on the next video.